Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk to you all about snacks. Today I wanted to talk to you all about the sort of snacks that we like to eat mid-morning or mid-afternoon when we get a bit peckish or a bit hungry. So I'm going to start with my son Ted's snacks first. So these are the sorts of things that he really likes to eat. So I thought I'd start with um, these organic rice cakes. These are cherry flavour and what I tend to do with these, instead of taking out a whole bag, I take out a small Tupperware box with me and I just tend to get about three or four of these and I put them in the Tupperware box. They're just that big. They're really handy and really easy for him to eat and they don't make too much of a mess either. There aren't too many crumbs with them. So I really like these. And then the next snack that I tend to take with us as well, if we're going out somewhere, is these naked posh bits. Um, the reason this company is called Naked is simply because they use raw ingredients and then they cold press all of those ingredients together. So this um, particular flavour of Posh Bites has dates, cashews, raisins, cacao powder, um, rice flour, mandarin and a hint of natural flavourings as well. Um, and these are really great. They also do bars as well. So, and they do them in lots of different flavours now as well, and they are really yummy as well. Um, and I tend to take out about four or five of these in the same Tupperware box. If we're going out, or even if we're at home, I tend to do that for him as well. And these are normally his mid-morning snack. Um, and then the next snack that he really likes, that we tend to give him as a little treat after dinner, are these bear yo-yo rolls. We call them bear rolls. He really likes these, and these are just dried out bits of fruit and vegetable pureed, um, and then dried out in the oven. And these, I think, are really good because it means you're getting all of the goodness of the fruit and the vegetable as well. So he gets extra vitamins if he eats these, is what I'm thinking. Um, and they're really handy to take out with you as well if you just want to pop them in your bag. And then I also like these bear claws as well. Um, these are the same th thing as the bear rolls, but they're just in different shapes and sizes and stuff. And he really likes those as well. And then the next snack, which we all enjoy, so this is everybody's snacking now, is um, these biscuits that mummy makes. Um, these are my vegan digestives and they are yummy and everybody in this family loves these and I've given these as a present as well before to a few people actually and they've really enjoyed them too. My husband tends to have these after his dinner so these are his little treat after his dinner to himself um, and he will also have those with dates as well. Um, I keep dates in the fridge, I keep quite a lot of dates in the fridge these are a really handy go-to snack. If you just have a dip in energy and you just need a bit of fuel to keep you going, these are great to have around. Um, and then also, popcorn is another great food. I tend to keep popcorn in the cupboard. Um, I keep it, I made this yesterday as the boys' lunches, so um, I normally keep popping corn in there and I've got a couple of recipes which I will link down below in the description box for you. This one is my cayenne pepper and cinnamon popcorn and this is quite popular on my blog as well. It's really quick and really easy to make popcorn. It makes a great snack. So the boys sometimes have this if they're watching a film on a Saturday afternoon in the playroom or I will make this for Ted as a little snack on an afternoon as well. And they also tend to have it with their lunches on a Saturday. So if they're having like a cheese and pickle sandwich or something, they'll sometimes have popcorn as well. It's a great food and really easy to make. If you want to check out the recipes, please do. And then as I mentioned earlier, I like to keep dates in the fridge, but I also like to keep dried prunes or dried plums to the Americans. I nearly forgot my words then. Yeah, so I like to keep these in my pantry. 
These are really handy as well to have and these are a great source of energy in between meals as well. And these are great for people with polycystic ovaries like me because they're just a boost of energy without having too much sugar in the, your system as well or refined sugar in your system. So, and I also like to keep nuts and seeds. So I keep large jars of pumpkin seeds and I've also got some sunflower seeds and I've also got some nuts as well so i've got some pecans cashew nuts i really like keeping these in large jars in my pantry um i do make things with pecans and cashews as well but i tend to nibble on these if i get a bit peckish in the afternoon and then finally if all else fails and we're still hungry after all of those snacks um why well, keep frozen fruit in my freezer as well. I buy this in bags from Sainsbury's and I find it really handy. So this is mango chunks and they also do pineapple, um, raspberries, cherries, all sorts of chopped up strawberries, all sorts of different fruits. And I tend to keep mango, raspberries and cherries in there at the moment because they tend to be Ted's favorite right now. So yeah, these are really handy to have in the freezer and these are a really great go-to snack as well. And then if everything else fails, I will give him a piece of fruit or I will eat a piece of fruit as well. And I'm really pleased to say that Ted really likes his fruit. He's not so keen on vegetables, but he really loves fruit. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you have any favorite snacks or you want to know more about the snacks I've mentioned, then please leave your comments and questions in the description box below. I would love to hear from you. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.